Mansions no one wants for even one dollar. Owning a huge mansion would cost you millions of dollars, but what if you get a chance of buying one for just one dollar? Well, without a doubt, most of us would clearly go with a big yes, but that sounds way too suspicious. Why would anyone sell their mansion with the same price tag as a cup of coffee? That seems a bit fishy. Welcome to Lord Luxury, and today we'll be going over the top 10 mansions no one would want to buy even for one dollar. The properties we are about to mention today are either enclosed with supernatural happenings or mansions which are simply packed up purely with disadvantages, or even houses located in geologically isolated areas that people are actually good off without it despite its hefty price tag. Number 10. The New Jersey Watcher Home the infamous Watcher home located in New Jersey is not recommended for weak hearts because ever since its former owner bought this house, they have been continuously receiving scary letters from an anonymous person. The home, which comprises of pretty cool amenities like six bedrooms, four baths, and four fireplaces was eventually bought by Derek and Maria Brodus in 2014, and they spent a total of $1.4 million to claim the house as their own property. Soon after its purchase, the buyers began to renovate it, and I'm pretty sure that caused them a lot as well. But for some reason, they never moved into the house, and ever since that, the house has been put up for sale. No one would ever want to buy it. Why? Because the threatening letters are too much to handle. The watcher, who are responsible for these creepy letters, never showed up. Neither was his identity revealed. He mentioned in the letters that his ancestors have been watching this house since 1920, and you definitely don't want to sleep there knowing that someone's watching over you, do you? Number 9. Montclair Mansion We can buy a lot of stuff with just $10, like maybe a fancy latte or one month subscription for Netflix. Surprisingly, the Montclair Mansion only comes with a price tag of $10. I can imagine the long queue of those interested buyers to purchase this property. But in reality, the house is still unsold. The Montclair Mansion was built in 1906 and is 4,000 square feet. It also comprises of six bedrooms and other classy features. But there's a serious ripoff. Whoever claiming this as their property has to shift or move this house to somewhere else. The area surrounding the mansion was permitted by a planning board for eight new houses. But for that to happen, the new buyer should purchase and move the house. Buying the house is easy as it seems, but moving the house and renovating it would cost around $70,000. Now that's what I call an expensive move. This house was the home of a US football star and FBI agent Aubrey Lewis, but it still remains in the market unsold. Number 8. Charming Forge Mansion the Charming Forge Mansion, which was built in 1749 and is located in Wommelsdorf, Pennsylvania, USA, is very much popular for its haunted past. The house rests on 7,800 square feet of land and consists of seven bathrooms, seven fireplaces, and even a carriage barn built on 48 acres of land. It also includes a separate room for guests, which is made out of stone. The price of this mansion is $825,000 and might even get many interested buyers. But the key feature of this property resisting the buyers from purchasing is indeed the paranormal history. You see, many ghost sightings and supernatural occurrences have been reported by people nearby the place. The original owner was Henry William Stiegel, and most of the new owners have come up with complaints about the creepy ghost encounters inside the place. Even the headless figure roaming around at night has been witnessed by a few. Do you have the guts to spend a night at this place? I definitely don't. Number 7. Conrad Aiken House The Conrad Aiken House located in Savannah, Georgia is a very beautiful and pleasant mansion. Unfortunately, the incident that took place years ago inside this very home wasn't that pleasant. This house, which is also reported to be the childhood home of the famous American poet Conrad Aiken, is still not bought by any buyers because of its bloody past. When Conrad was a child, he heard the usual morning ruckus caused by his parents, but things got out of hand when his father shot his mom and ended his own life as well, which led to the young poet to be orphaned. He mentioned this infamous incident in many of his poems, and even if they are worthy buyers who are most likely to be attracted by the gorgeous five-bedroom and bathrooms, 
they might be too scared to encounter some creepy and paranormal happenings. Seems like there are people who are already witnessed some scary experiences. I guess the heartbroken buyers are happy without it, even if the price drops drastically. Number 6. Granite Luima May I have your attention towards this attractive mansion which looks like a castle? The Granite Luima is situated along Lake Superior in Michigan, USA and is reportedly the largest log cabin in the US and resides on 5,000 acres of woodland. The gigantic mansion is 26,000 square feet and comprised of 23 bedrooms, 4 apartments inside. It also has a private marina and a huge hot tub. The mansion is also packed up with ancient artifacts and historical paintings. But even after cutting down half of the original cost, people are not interested to buy it. Why? Because as you can see from this Google map depiction, the mansion is in the middle of nowhere. A dream house for introverts, but you pretty much need to get a chopper to pick up your groceries. Also, the house is too primeval looking that it requires a brand new renovation, which would cost thousands of dollars. But on the bright side, this is the perfect place for the nature lovers who are good without human interaction. Number 5. Schweppe Mansion Schweppe Mansion is one of those mansions that are reported for its scary ghost encounters. The Tempting Palace is over 21,000 square feet and has 12 bedrooms. The mansion is located in Illinois and also has a 400-foot long beach. You'll be surprised to hear that this mansion was the home of many royal bloods. For example, the Duke of Windsor has actually lived here. Some rich guy bought the house for an expensive cost a few years back and even spent more money for its brand new makeover. And that's pretty much the end of it. No interested buyers on the list, even after 10 years. At this point, the cost was announced to 50% off and still no sign of potential buyers. Everything made perfect sense when people reported supernatural occurrences and paranormal incidents, including ghost sightings. Tales of previous owners passing away in the bedrooms by the husbands causing bloody murder still stays alive as rumors in the neighborhood and no one is bold enough to spend a night there. Even the ghosts of servants who work there are witnessed by so many. I wouldn't suggest buying this cursed property. Number 4. SK Pierce Mansion by seeing this house itself, I can understand why people try their best to stay away from this place. I mean, just look at how it appears. I can't help but get those spooky vibes. The SK Pierce Mansion was built in 1875 by Sylvester Knowlton Pierce and is 6,700 square feet. You'll be able to see striking 11-foot tall ceilings and even 10 bedrooms and much of the unique woodwork from 1875. But no matter how much of the house rate drops, people are way too scared to buy it. The house was reported as one of the most haunted properties in the United States. An even creepier fact is that seven deaths have been reported inside the mansion. Mysterious and paranormal phenomena like objects moving by itself and ghostly screams at night are some of the common statements claimed by people living nearby the house. This house has also been featured in many supernatural TV shows with people encountering ghost sightings and souls of servants moving inside, which isn't really a pretty sight. Number 3. The Priestly House in 2019, the website Rocket Homes released a list of the nation's top 10 haunted homes on the market, and the Priestly House landed on the third position. From outside, our eyes are pleased to see an elegant and beautiful white mansion, but the horrifying tale defining this mansion is the number one reason why it's still not bought by anyone. Located in Canton, Mississippi, the original owner of this abode, Dr. James Priestley, built the house in 1852. The Georgian-style mansion is so huge and it has its own parlor, music room, swimming pool, office, terrace, and exquisite greenhouse, and even an enormous library. Both owners, Dr. James Presley and his wife, Susan, passed away inside the house, leading the house to be a popular destination for paranormal activities. The property is also famous for its historical significance, but that doesn't make it any less spooky, does it? Number 2. Pillars Estate the gate of this marvelous dwellings are wide open for anyone to enter, but I won't recommend this one for the weak of hearts and people who are generally not thrilled to buy a haunted land for a small price, because Pillars Estate is indeed famous for that. The historic mansion in New York is 7,200 square feet and has six bedrooms, five baths, parlor, ballroom, fireplaces, and pretty much everything you can find inside a house featured in horror movies. Even after purchasing the home, 
the owner is required to renovate by spending lots of cash, so I guess that's another drawback of buying this property apart from its hauntings. In the past years, many have claimed seeing silhouettes of a child, which they say is the offspring of the former lady. Well, I don't want to see a ghost child walking around, and neither do you. <laughs> Number 1. Anstaret Mansion the last mansion we are mentioning today is the Anne Starrett Mansion, built in 1889 by George Starrett. Located in Washington, D.C., this 5,800 square foot property has 11 bedrooms, 7 baths, a far-fetching view of the bay nearby, and many other tempting features. This Victorian-style mansion serves as a hotel but didn't last too long because of the several ghost sightings and haunted entities roaming around. Objects moving it and wardrobes opening on its own have been seen and claimed by many employees working there. The most popular and interactive entity is the spirit of a nanny who seems to appear in the mirrors on the second floor. Even the souls of the late Starrett couple have been witnessed by many. You could possibly pay someone to live here, and still no one would go for it. So, which mansion creeped you out the most? Are you brave enough to buy one or at least have the guts to spend a night in any of these properties? Let us know by commenting down below. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and hit the bell icon for more updates from our channel. I will see you later.